Um, Bridget and I have actually been friends for about seven years, I'd say. Um, kind of lost touch with each other once we started to go back to, we both started to go back to work. Um, and then I posted something on the Facebook page in our community that um, we were thinking about selling our house. And I guess Bridget caught it and she kind of like a few weeks later had sent me a quick message and said, hey, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a realtor now. And I, um, I kind of was like, oh, well, that's great. You know, I was excited for her. And I said, congratulations. And, and she said, well, let me know if you have any needs that I can meet. And I said, well, right now we're kind of just in limbo. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do, um, but I'll let you know. And at that point, we actually had a realtor that we thought we were going to use who was a friend of ours. But the closer we got to actually selling the house, I realized he didn't really know our market. Um, we were over the $400,000 and he was more of like a 250 kind of guy. So um, I was a little nervous about him trying to sell a $400,000 house. Um, and then Bridget popped back in my head um, and I called her and I said, you know, I know you're a realtor. Um, how many houses have you sold? And she kind of got back and we chatted back and forth. And then she just said, um, well, let me know if there's anything I can do. And she came out a week later, told us about the Liz Moore philosophy on, you know, home selling and home buying. And um, we kind of really liked what she had to say. And I know Bridget as a person um, is a real go-getter. So I was kind of excited about using her because I knew that she would never really hesitate on anything and she would be very forthcoming with me. Um, so about a week after that, we signed with her, and that's how we came to have Bridget Lane as our, our agent. Well, first of all, she agreed to work with me, because that's not easy. <laughs> um, and she really knew what she was getting into. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, um, so she was very well aware of my personality and was still willing to go that extra mile. But she really... Um, she really went above and beyond a lot. Um, she had some really good ideas that she implemented as time went on because we had a couple of open houses that I think one person came to. Um, we were basically in a neighborhood that was surrounded by all new construction. And when you're trying to sell a nine, 10 year old house with all this you know, bright, shiny stuff around you, nobody wants the nine, 10 year old house. They all want the you know, slightly more expensive, but newer houses. Um, so Bridget came up with an idea to do a community-wide open house. I think there were about six houses in our neighborhood for sale at the time. And she got all these different agents from different agencies together and said, let's do a, like kind of a fall like showing. And they all um, agreed to do it. And so we had a huge community open house. And I think we had the most people at that open house that, than we had at any other one. So we had probably I think she said we had like seven families or seven you know couples walk through um, and they had like a raffle and it was a really great idea um, but she also did some things that I never would have expected an agent to do we're long term we're moving to North Carolina and she actually called a lot of agents for us to kind of vet them and you know determine whether they'd be a good fit for me knowing my personality <laughs> obviously um, she, so I thought that was kind of something that was above and beyond um, she also, um, she was really quick to follow up with people who walked through our house. Like she didn't even give them 24 hours. She was like, I want to know now, like, you know, what did you think? And so, and then she got back to us really quickly with all the feedback and I really appreciated that. Um, but she's just really an honest, extremely organized, um, keeping me on my toes constantly and always following up. Even when we had lulls when we had the lowest you know we didn't have anybody walk through for a couple of weeks she always touched base with us every single week and said you know how are things going how are you feeling and that kind of thing and I appreciated that but she also knew when to back off which I think um, you know some agents push 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 and she was kind of like you know let me know if you need something and then she would just kind of back off and it was great so we had a great relationship I would 100% absolutely recommend Bridget to other people. Um, I think that the biggest thing that stands out in my mind is that she is a um, she's a win-win kind of person. I knew from the start that she would always be on our side as the seller, but I also saw a lot of times she was trying to give us the buyer perspective, and that helped a lot when you're 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 kind of invested in your own house and what it means to you. 
It also helps to have kind of an outside perspective come in and say, well, here's what I think they're thinking, you know, and um, I appreciated that. And I think that Bridget was more about building relationships with not only the people she is selling for, but also selling to. I think that's where she really thrives and excels, and um, I appreciate that. So I would definitely recommend her.